Autumn is full of sounds. Birds calling, the crunch of leaf litter underfoot. But for Michael Prime, there are more other worldly sounds to be found. Although the source is tantalizingly terrestrial. What we've got here is capable of amplifying the electrical field of any living organism, whether that's a fungus or a plant. I've always been fascinated by plants, by biology, and uh, also by music and sound. And over the years, the two things have gradually uh, come together. He uses specialised equipment that translates bioelectrical fields into sound which he uses in musical compositions and art installations. Michael has come to the National Trust's Murloc Nature Reserve in Northern Ireland to attempt to record a fungus he finds fascinating. I'm very, very keen to record Clathrus archeri. It's, it's a fungus that I've only ever found once before, which was years ago in Sussex. And I didn't have my recording with me at the time. So hearing that it was actually fruiting, right now, here in Murloc, I thought I've got to get up there and do it. Clathyrus archery forms an egg-like structure and in the autumn it explodes with these tendril formations which have led to it more commonly being referred to as devil fingers or octopus stinkhorn which is a clue to another of its characteristics. If we have a smell, wow. absolutely the smell of rotting meat there. Wow. I love that kind of alien appearance of it. It's particularly interesting for the strategy it uses to disperse its spores. It attempts to attract flies um, to carry the spores and it produces um, the smell of rotting meat. It has these little blobs of jelly containing the spores which the flies feed on and they then carry them away. And there they are actually carrying out some spore dispersal. They might smell rather hellish, but for Michael, do their bioelectrical signals sound more heavenly? The fluctuations in the sound that you hear are a direct mapping of those fluctuations in the bioelectrical field of the organism. The electrical field of, of the fungus is constantly changing in response to its environment. So there tends to be a kind of regular pulse, almost like a heartbeat. Um, which varies uh, according to whether it's excited or not, if you like. And it might be excited if it encounters nutrients, if it encounters water. Michael has managed to record the sound of this stinkhorn to add to his fungal symphony. I like to think of what I do as being a collaboration with the organisms that I work with. Well, in the end, hopefully, it's a piece of music or a piece of art, but uh, hopefully also it's music or art with a purpose, because plants and fungi, they, they don't interact with us in obvious ways like animals do, so it's easy to think of them as being inanimate, which, of course, is completely wrong. And so I hope that by making those life processes audible that uh, people can start to appreciate uh, plants and fungi for what they are, complex living organisms.